Hey guys, how are you doing? So as you see, mess as always. Been busy, didn't get to do a lot of videos because I mean, did some stuff that was kind of pre sold so there wasn't really a point of showing it to you. I actually did happen, you know, I am gonna sell that second piece maker because one of my best, best customers, you know, one was promised to one of the best customers and one of another really, really good customers really, really wanted. So I, I just cannot say no to him, so I'm selling that one to him. Uh, probably not gonna have them even on the blade show, which is kind of good excuse for me because that means that I don't have to lug around this huge, gigantic blade. <laughs> as much as I would love to show it, it just, you know, you know, I'd rather make some folders and show, carry those around to show people. It's just really big to <laughs> carry it around. I was not gonna show you those. Did some knackers, did a bunch of knackers actually, the, the pocket knackers. Whew, I did some fixed blades that sold. I do make videos because people always complaining. Some people, of course not. You can never pleasure everybody, make everybody happy. But a lot of people complain that they see the same thing over and over. Even though it's never really the same. But, you know, I understand and you guys understand. So I just put them on Gearbash and they sold. Uh, without people having to see the videos. So, stuff I'm working on. This is pretty exciting. Uh, got set up a new handles well I don't know material or combination one of those recon stones I had here is one already epoxied and curing really excited about this combination so you have black and blue tiny little liners then you have slightly thicker red then slightly thin orange and then you have that uh, black and white recon stone which I think I mean, you can see from the profile on the front that it is gonna be pretty cool uh, the Dracon stone is nice. It's not gonna be very much sidewise because it's very different kind of tech not texture But you can see the coloration the lines But it actually gonna look like it's book match because the way I made the cut and uh, it's gonna be positioned on the spine So at least that's gonna be pretty cool that it it will have that kind of Optical illusion of uh, book matched you can see it there as well but I have a feeling that's gonna be a nice color combination just a couple little tiny little liners and then that black and white I think it's gonna be good. Another thing is, I want to show you a little repurposing <laughs> those little one of those uh, Nespresso the thingy holders and the guide. I guess the taste guide. We didn't have a use, or we bought this as a gave the big big thing, and this actually came for free with it. So what we did, repurpose it because the wherever this is going to the gift, they don't need it. So I actually had a pretty cool idea repurposing for my small little screws because it's getting to the point where I'm always under ordering new types of screws for my folders and even these are getting a little too not convenient enough with not enough storage space. So this actually is perfect. There's so many. What is it? It's 36. So 36 different things. These are actually 36 all different parts that I can use for my folders that are always handy here. I just have to make sure that I'll never drop this because that would be a disaster. Because they don't like interlock. It would all mix. Pretty cool there. So next stuff. Uh, not sure. You probably didn't see this. Another little update. Got some big, uh, big order of supplies from. Uh, from uh, Alpha. Uh, I'm gonna try 6K, Stellite 6K on two of my flippers, probably large and small. It should be pretty much what you see the size wise too. Uh, got some new black tie mascus, big expensive piece too. Hopefully, with a good preparation, I should be able to fit decent amount. I think I should fit four folders from this big piece. But I mean, just so you get an idea what kind of an investment we are looking for. You know, not looking for, but just so you guys know. <laughs> These materials are very, very expensive, they, and it's very dangerous to work with and very not pleasant to work with. So you guys have to understand that when you, and not only in my knives, but just generally. I mean, if you see knife with stuff like that, Damascus or black, especially black Damascus, you gotta know that where those money are going to. It's not ex it's not cheap material, and it's very hard to work with. Uh, hopefully soon I'll get. I wanna do that SM100 too. I need to somehow cut it or so, you know, make the blades for it, for the, made the, made the blades for the folders from it. Uh, some new stuff I'm gonna be working on. I wanna do some couple of uh, pretty cool fixed blades with that kind of exotic materials. Probably the carbon fiber laminate liner. 
and then the cool stuff like the M3 metal composite and that recon stone. I'm really looking forward to use this. I think that's gonna be beautiful. Neckers, they are going to the gear bastion. Really cool stuff this weekend what I have for you guys. There is one lefty. Uh, lefty here is the lefty. That's one lefty, that's gonna be separate lefty. And then you have seven regular, you know, righties with pretty cool pocket clips. I'm not sure if I, I did this before on couple, but I have a way of making pocket clips. These are still pocket clips, making them look, you know, interesting, cool. So you get from black that looks like zirconium to copper, bronzish looks to black with slight little hints of copper. It's a random outcome of a certain procedure I have kind of cool playing around with uh, the steel, orange peel, sandblasting, copper wash and, the, and flame and heat treating. You know, it's not actual he real, real heat treating like you would do steel, like because it doesn't need to be proper heat treat like a steel on the for edge, but it just needs to be a little stronger, a little, little harder than uh, regular soft anil steel. So those are heating gear bastion, probably like as, you, as you're seeing this, it's probably there already. Uh, you seen my big peacemaker, the first one. You didn't see the shit for it. I did the black Kydex with OD overspray. You can see that little bit of kind of like a camo job. I just like it. It's simple. It's actually done with the palm leaves. Just not the camo camo. I'm not the biggest fan of the actual camouflage like you see normally on the camouflage pens. But this type of just just a natural cup, couple lines. I like that. So that's that. And this one same idea with the color just to match the handle orange overspray over black kydex this one actually has little kind of speckles of OD paint there too just to not be only black and orange and this one is pretty cool very high polish it's much from touching but it's very nice high polish uh, satin fine satin grind nice little switch very very lean mean mean blade Pretty happy about this. So that's what I've been up to, guys. Uh, did some cool stuff, like I said. Did couple fixed blades. They sold some couple EDCs. Uh, this, the recon recons. I think there will be two of them. Two will be the new EDC 2.0, yeah, 2.0, and one will be the old style EDC. Because I wanted to utilize the material. You know, it, it came in a piece like this big. So I wanted to utilize that material as best as possible without any, you know, the least waste. And uh, the best way is to do two of the new EDCs and one of the old one. It's pretty much 100% material use, you know, except the handle curves and that, but you understand. So guys, that's it. Waiting for the folder parts. They should be here soon. So hopefully I get cracking on folders soon because um, I really enjoy doing that. I got to be honest. I as, as, Pain in the ass it is sometimes with the, because of all the different problems with the folders. It is very satisfying feeling. It really is like a big achievement every time you make a folder. So I am, you know, I do love doing it. Do do like and you know, and I have the lot of lot of potential to improve a lot of things. So it's that you know, it's like the challenge you want to take on. You want to get better and better. So it, it really is satisfying feeling. So the folders will be something I'm gonna spend a lot of time on. Guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support. As always, this is on Gibastion. Thank you for watching. Take care, stay safe, and remember, don't cut yourself.